Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Onto 2 again, where today you join me with this new map that has just been released on the official forums that is called Etbrook. I think that's how you say it. Etbrook version 1.0. And I'm recording this on the 25th of October 2015. Um, so yeah, this has just been released today, so we're going to have a little drive of it. I've just driven the, um, I think it's a 4 one 4123 coming um, and it was really 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 nice drive so I thought I'd just show you guys as well So you join me at this terminus. I reversed into here. What I did is I came from Oh, where's it gone trees is I came from um, this kind of way Here and then I made a right turn and made a full-on reverse into this point that I'm currently in So we're gonna be driving Route 4123 today from Strid from Strildorf to Etterbrook and Vanhoff. So, let's begin. So we're driving the Mercedes-Benz 0307. It's manual, so you'll have to excuse us if I make a lot of mistakes with this kind of thing. So I'll try my best. I will try my best. I'm gonna fill through and I'll get a screenshot because of the sun setting looks quite cool. So now change my destination. Um do Etbrook 4123. They like I don't think the blinds work properly, I don't know if it's something on my behalf or their behalf. But for me they don't work properly, so I don't know why. So we'll skip up the time, um, 22.55, much has changed. You'll have to excuse us because some of my controls do collide with the gearings, so you'll have to excuse that. Because that's something I've noticed. I'll try my best to drive it as well as I can, but they do collide a bit. I need to switch our lights on. Oh. Hello. Hello. So there's a few routes on this map. There's like the SB1, the 4124 I think. I'm not sure about any others. But we'll have to say my average driver, whatever, whatever else there is on the map. We'll have to say because what I think is quite good about this map is the scenery is really, really nice. And the kind of roads that are used as well. The nice, nice kind of spleens and things. Um, but it's like, this is in a way like a, like tattoo. A tattoo, or how, however you say it, I don't know. But it's like the only issue with tattoo is that it was just, it's too long. If you're wanting to drive a short run, the shortest run you've got is 40 minutes, but with this, they're about 20 minute long runs, so you're ideal. And then we're making a right. I still don't know the route off by heart. So, love to excuse us. to excuse us. Also, um, just, it's still in the planning stage, oh, screenshot, it's still in the planning stages, um, but I'm hoping to start up another kind of channel, um, related to, obviously, like, related to buses and the kind of thing. Something I do like is these on the bus shelters. I know I'm coming off topic, but I love these on the bus shelters. They have like pictures of the map, and I think that's an absolutely fantastic idea. I really do. I think whoever's thought that out is like, a really good idea. Honestly, is. Let's get a photo. We've got another one like this. There we go. 
but yeah I'm hoping to start up another YouTube like channel um, related to this I will be releasing proper details soon but I'm hoping it's to be related like bus filming if you have what I mean so just short mini two two three minute clips maybe they'll get longer uh, buses that I've been on and uh, like drive offs as well so because I do go on a fair few buses um, so I think it'd be quite nice for you guys to see what I travel on day to day um, and the different kind of buses that I go on and the d unusual things that I see and travel on so the things from like heritage events to rarities on the road and then how and then they all got all the clips or something like that so we'll have to say I have to say it's still in the planning stages and I do have the plans up but if all goes ahead and all goes as well as I hope then you you guys will get notified about it and things so I'm hoping I'm hoping to probably like set it up soon um quite a quick thing because I think it'd be quite nice to have a little kind of group of channels I know it's a bit planned in advance for like a group of channels that I've got focusing on that kind of relatable thing so if you like one certain thing within that topic you're more likely to like the things around it so I'm hope it's all in planning really it really is all in planning For those of you who know, um, there's a few of you who do know out there, I am making a map, a work in progress map. Um, it currently includes, I think it's around six bus routes, some of which, um, I think seven because I updated it to the eight, eight, eight routes, some of which haven't been timetabled and completed yet, but others are fully complete and ready to go. So I'm hoping to showcase that to you guys very soon. Um, there's a lot of different ones, and I am and I am planning to have like something like 20 odd routes on it, 20, 30 odd routes. That sounds a, quite a lot to say to my first proper map, but I do like to plan big. So it's going well at the moment. Um, it's left path for those of you who are wondering, and um, those of you who do come from Yorkshire, like I, will be be able to relate to the map because some of the places and some of the turns and the terminuses and names all relate to places that I've been to slash seen within West Yorkshire and sometimes like East Yorkshire and North Yorkshire so do look forward to that coming in the future so yeah do look forward to that and things because it does it's like the map is called the map for those of you who are wondering is called Haverfar um, and I'm hoping to release like a maybe a version of 0.5 alpha kind of thing where it's not fully finished with all the buildings but the root concepts are out there already and more of a kind of suggestion type of thing before I fully expand it a bit more than it currently is because I've currently got at least a good goodness knows how many months work to do before it's anywhere near fully completion for version 1 so I am hoping to release it version 0 0.5 alpha please don't ask for, for a release date I can't speak what? For the release date, um, as I don't take those kind of comments um, because I don't know when I'm going to release it. I, I honestly do not have a clue. It's like the London and South map. It's probably released it off for October and it's now the 25th. Or when you guys see this, the 26th. And it hasn't um, it come out yet. But what you got to think to yourself is that if it's a bit later out then there's something there's like a bug fix or there's some sort of expansion since the original release and date so that's what you gotta think like i'm not putting any date i'm not trying to rush myself or put any date in front of myself with my math because 
I want my mouth to be perfect. Um, I'm not perfect, but as near perfect as I can get. With a leaf. So that there's not... So it doesn't look bad. And it looks decent in a way. I like the liveries. I really do like the liveries. And the O307's livery is quite nice. I, I like the white wheels. I think they're really nice. A nice feature. Thank you. 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 Th
so this is really nice. Something that I also like, I haven't really explored as such, but it's something that looks quite cool, is the chronology um, that comes with it. Um, with this map, I haven't really explored it as such, and I don't know into what detail, but all I know is, is, it, is it's different years within um, the chronology, and I think the destinations change. So that could be something to look forward to. I, I'm going to have a proper explore of it um, at some point because I'm quite intrigued as to like what the difference is. I'm very intrigued, but love to see. Totally didn't cut that car up and just let me drive past the way through it. Totally didn't do that. Oh, 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 that was me. That was me with the mouse. Just for those of you who know, I do drive with the mouse. Apologies about that, I had something on my finger and then the mouse then switched itself over to the left, so sorry about that. Just sometimes it's hard driving with a ma mouse, especially when you've got like an itch on your hand, because you're itching that, or there's not enough mouse space, and that's when you do lose the realism ever so slightly. But anyway... Currently, as I'm driving now with the steering wheel, the mouse is not on the um, table. It, it's in mid-air, so I don't know how the heck that's working. But it is. And as scary as that is, it's working. I do like the O307. Um, it took me a while to get this bus working. It was... A, quite a struggle to get this bus working for some reason but I managed to get it working and it's a pretty decent bus I don't like use it as much as I feel like I should but it is a pretty nice bus and it's definitely worth the download if you have the Stata bus um, City bus or 305 thing so it's definitely worth um, downloading if you have that I think they've done like the scenery quite well. I feel that the layers of what's over got down there. Oh, just a barrier. I think the layers of like trees and things have really worked. You know the different colours contrasting. I feel that's really really good. Put that on so we have a bit of view. It seems really dark for some reason. Today also the clocks went back um, an hour, so everybody apart from me got an extra hour of sleep, partly because I woke up at normal time, but instead of 8 o'clock, instead of being 8 o'clock a.m. it was 7 a.m. and it's a weekend, so I'm pretty happy, pretty happy waking up at 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. on a Sunday, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that they... Oh, the other one wants to jump off. I'm going to take a photo. I'll take a screenshot of that. I might take my hand beam off now. I'm going to take another one. Uh, Those of you who haven't seen it, um, I do recommend checking out my channel and some of the liked videos. And um, the creator of the buses of the West Country um, was one of the videos that I liked. Um, and I've subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to that one, it's really cool. Um, he showed a video quite recently of some of the updates that have recently happened to the map in regards like a new park and ride route that looks really cool, it does look really good. He, he was basically in the video he talks about how he's changed the layout of Paynton that in some perspectives looks good 
But for me, um, what was ever so slightly disappointing is that uh, is that there was um, like a lack of all the tight and narrow roads that you get within um, town. So that was something of a bit of a lack of. So anyway. Good day. Hello. What was someone else there? No, no. Go on. Oh. I like the seats. I really do like the seats. I like oldie worldy seats. And yeah, it's well cool. I like delivery. I think I've said that already, but I do. I really do like delivery. It's pretty different. It reminds me of some sort of love race, but it's definitely very different. It really is. I'm not going to go fifth because if I go um, fifth gear, um, the door opens. So we'll try it. I've got to like do it really quickly because then the door doesn't open, so it, it does the kind of. but it doesn't open because if I double it so quick it just comes up the chance to open to be open close and because these doors are um, slow that's a good thing I think we're going a bit fast are we going to see Berg let's have a look I just have a little check just to make sure we're not going down there I can't remember the name of it because I checked it before um I don't, oh there we go. Where is it? It is Ettyberg Berg Etty Sten. No, we don't stop there again. Uh, I don't even know what route does, but like journeys do. Because I had to stop there going now coming back. Something that's good about this map is although it's like pretty large-ish um, There's only three buses on AI It's quite cool because in like the main um, bus station Etteberg I think it is Etteberg Let's have a look because it's bugging me um, Yeah Etbrook In the main bus station like interchange area of Etbrook that's really nice and idyllic that you guys are going to see that's right next to the bus depot, that's quite cool um, you usually see another one going the other way so that's quite cool and then you do pass off and it does it does have that quite bit of realism as well as not overloading yourself with AI and um, AI vehicles and slowing down the map and losing the map quality so it is quite good oh, that was a long spike Trains, chuck chucks, according to those signs. Conk it down the gear. Just throw it up. There we go, perfect. Oh, did a school bus as well? Or is that just... I don't know. Hello. 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 People want to come pop as well, so I need to open that door. What else? We're nearly there now. I think we'll only go five minutes left. Let me have a look. 
Industriale 42. I think that's where we've just been. So, yeah, we've only got about five minutes. I think that was the last stop, I think. Because if it was, we've only got five minutes. That should be pretty quick for me at the wheel. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, I know where we are. Hello. I didn't Talk I about good bus parking. Unless I'd have taken that wide and taken out the bus stop and all the passengers after it, I probably wouldn't have got round there anyway. I'm on a Get the brook. Something that I aren't doing um, is starting in first gear with this manual bus because that was something that in the last manual bus video that I did that was oh just pardon that um, noise something to do with eBay um, I think you, you guys probably picked that up because that was pretty loud if you didn't then I'm just talking nonsense um, but the manual bus. Um, the I think it was a 320 to Col Great Colquart that I do need to revisit that map because that is quite cool. Um, but what it was um, was I was told that it's like not realistic to start in first and you usually start in second. So I took that advice and this is where we are today. So see, I do read the comments for those of you who think I don't. Probably none of you think I don't because I am quite responsive in the comments but if you ever doubt that I don't read them then just I believe me I do read them is basically the point of that because that's like something to be a great success on like YouTube is definitely listen to people like your peers and kind of thing the people who watch your videos because believe me, they can have A, have some absolutely great advice, B, have an absolutely fantastic compliment, or C, have some have some very interesting stories to tell. So, it's definitely always good to listen to your comments. Because usually, 9 times out of 10, they're usually really interesting. But, every so often you get the other one that's a bit, that someone being annoying or being, or someone basically who's jealous. So, I've rarely got that. I've got it a few times, like once or twice, but apart from that, I don't get that. There we are, at the terminus. And now, we, we are not running on the... Um, next duty on the 4124. What we're doing is we're in depo now. So it's down here. So I'll just what I'll do is I'll stand the bus and I'll zoom out and just show you guys the idyllic scenery around this area. Now I'm not trying to be awful, but if you say that that scenery here is not nice, then believe me, there's something up with you. Because this is absolutely phenomenal scenery, it really is. Have you seen these like, little tram stops? I think they're well cool. I really do. I think like the little, like I think it's tram, I mean, really swell train station. I think it's a tram judging by images station. It's really, really cool. I think whoever's made this, they've done an absolutely phenomenal job. 
and attention to detail, especially in this like centre. I think they've really, really done a good job. I'm gonna cut that corner. There we go. And we'll take a screenshot like that. Well, from what I've heard, there's some way of opening these. Although, we are going to have a lot of try now. But apparently, you can open these. Oh, wow. That is cool. I'm just going to open all three just, just for the point of it. Move that one back down. And we'll move that back down. Now that is cool. Move it here. Oh. I'll have to do it from a preview because I don't want to mess it up really. Oh, it really. Is it careful at tires? There we go. So that guys was the 4123 um sounds like a train announcement doesn't it um 4123 um slg service um to wherever we wherever we are at the moment i can't remember the name of it because i'm rubbish with that kind of thing um but anyway i'll switch off the bus a noisy sounds i think that's like something that they've gone a bit overboard with is the sound no. Switch the electrics off, open my cab door, even though there isn't one existent, and we will leave the bus here. So, thanks guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe. If you have a question, suggestion, or need a download, do hesitate to ask me in the comments. And thanks again for watching, and I will leave you with this closing. And I hope to see you in the next video I make. Oh, come on, close. Uh. Okay. None of them open them now. <laughs> Down for an it. Oh, is it F4? It's F4, isn't it? There we go. And I do hope to see you in the next video I make. Good. Bye for now. Bye.